Welcome back, Patriots. I'm Hay Nelson. I'm Trajan Fleet. And welcome to HTTV, we tell you what's up. So we're going to jump into the calendar for this week. Uh, today, October 3rd, it is Elizabeth Salmon's birthday today. Happy birthday, Liz. Uh, tomorrow, the 4th, uh, there's the NSU College Fair that the juniors and seniors will be going to in Aberdeen. There's also an early dismissal at 1 for parent-teacher conferences. Uh, Friday the 5th, there's enhancement. There's junior high football at Northwestern, followed by varsity football at Northwestern, and it's also Jace Walder's birthday. And then the 6th, the Saturday, Saturday there's an SEC LA Color Run to Hitchcock. Uh, what time was that? 8? 30. So. Uh, the 8th, Monday, uh, junior high volleyball at Northwestern. The JV football versus Falkton, which has canceled. But there is a, if I remember, there is a JV triangular football made with us, Northwestern, and Falcon. And I believe that's at Northwestern. There's also Tevin Dow's birthday, and there's a school board meeting. Ninth, two birthdays, Elliot Hartford and Christine McCoach. Uh, Wednesday the 10th, uh, PSAT test. And there's a junior high and high school speaker in Huron, and cross country reasons at Webster. Uh, the 11th, Thursday, uh, junior high volleyball and varsity volleyball versus Ipswich, which is here, to it. And Tanya and Close's birthday is that day. So that's the calendar. So um, let's jump into uh, sports stats. So, Trey, do you want to do volleyball? Um, sure. Um, so last Thursday, we played Junior High Christian. And um, for kills, Stan had nine. Dawson had Dawson and Ashley had five and Liz and Cassidy both had six. And for Diggs, Kennedy had seventeen, Liz had fifteen, and Trajan had twelve. And that was a win in three sets. And then we went on to play Wolsey Westington on Saturday. And that was a win of four. <clears throat> Dawson had seventeen kills. Liz had seven, and Cassidy had nine. And for Diggs, Trajan had 18. And Liz had 16, and Kennedy had 15. Then we went on to play San Juan Central in the championship game, which is a win and four for us. And Liz had 12 kills, Ashley had six, and Cassidy had 13. And for Diggs, Dana had 17, Dawson had 16, and Kennedy had 18. And then we went on to play Warner yesterday, and that was a loss in three. And Dawson had five kills, Ashley also had five kills, and Cassidy had four. Dan, for Diggs, Dana Peterson had 16, Kennedy had 15, and Liz had 21. So well done to the ball girls. I'm winning the three annual conference tournament. We have um, cross country results from the last compete event in Highmore from the 29th of September, so which was Saturday. Uh, the girls 5K run for varsity. Uh, Camry McNeil got 15th, and Danielle Noel got 17th. For the boys 5K run for varsity, Cody Wright got 19th, and Raymond Cole got 24th. Uh, the Girls 4K run for the Junior Varsity, Kinsey Vanderwerk at 13th. And then for the boys 4K run for Junior Varsity, Mason Bond got 11th, Jack Guzma got 17th, and Jed Waldner got 20th. So nice job to the runners, and they will be practicing towards regions uh, coming up. Uh, football stats, uh, the boys went to Lankford last Friday, a tough loss against uh, Lankford Lions, 33-8. Um, tough game, but welcome to bounce back against Northwestern. So uh, let's head over to our interviews with uh, Coach Opp and Coach Nelson. Hi, I'm Trajan Flea, and I'm here with Coach Opp. Coach Opp, so how did the game go against SBA? You know, we uh, went into Sunshine Bible, and it actually played really well. Um, we, hit very, we hit very well, limited our errors, and we came away with a three-game sweep, which was nice to see. Um, so, how did the tournament go this weekend um, for 281 Conference? Well, we played uh, we played James Valley first round and, and came out and uh, really dominated that first set. And then um, next couple sets it was a little tighter, but we came away and beat them 3-0. And then we went down and uh, played Wolsey and uh, 
kind of the same thing. Uh, we had our chance to set one to put them away and, and didn't do it, but then we came back, played a nice uh, th other three-game set and beat them in, in four. And then we got to see Sanborn Central Moonsocket and uh, played again played really well, limited our errors, hit well, played some great defense, and we ended up taking first place in the tournament, which was great to see. Um, so what are you expecting to see today from Warner? Well, Warner's comes in uh, number two ranked class in Class B. Um, they got a lot of great hitters. Um, they're really scrappy on the defensive end. Um, we're just going to go up and we're going to try to play our best ball that we can play, and, and whatever happens, happens. And um, you know, just we're just trying to get better. That's that's the goal right now. Well, thank you, and good luck to you, Dawson. Hi, I'm Amanda Holzel with Mr. Nelson. Mr. Nelson, how did the game in Lankford go? Uh, not as good as we'd hoped, you know, the, the Patriots came out with a loss in that game, but uh, the boys played really hard and, you know, something to build on going into our last game of the week uh, against Northwestern this week. And how's that looking? Uh, it's going to be pretty good. The boys have been practicing hard and I like our chances to, to get a win on, on Friday night. Well, good luck to you. Back to you. Thank you for those interviews and now let's uh, throw it over to our interviews with the elementary students. Hi, my name is Dawson Otto and I'm here with Case Becker. Hi, Case. How are you? Good. How's class going? Good. So I heard that you made some apple pie last week. What? How did it taste? Really good. Why did you guys make pie? Cause, it, cause that's just what we do in first grade. Um. So I also heard that you went to a pumpkin patch today. How was that? Fun. Now to Peyton. Hi, I'm Peyton Nelson. I'm here with Preston and Whiff. So how you doing? Good. How's school going? Good. Uh, how's football going? Uh, good. We good. we're one in. I don't know. <laughs> hey, at least you won a game. Yeah. Um, what are you doing in school today? Uh, not much. Math, reading, science, social studies, Halloween stuff. Awesome. <clears throat> so uh, Halloween's this month. Are you excited for that? Mm, yeah. Yeah. All right. Well. Over to you, Amanda. Hi, I'm Amanda Holza. I'm with Lainey Humphrey. How are you? Good. What are you doing in school today? Math. Fun. How did that go? Good. We had a math test. Oh. Do you think you passed? Not really. Okay. Well, I hope you did. Um, what are you going to be for Halloween? Maybe a deer. Maybe a deer. Hmm. Back to you. Thank you for the interviews with the elementary kids. Now I'll show it over to Peyton with his interview with White Brooker about uh, how the FFA kids have been doing. All right, uh, Peyton Nelson here with uh, White Brooker. So, um, how is everyone doing at the Land and Range judging? Well, we did pretty good. Uh, the Land team got fourth, and the Range team got second. On the Land team, Grant got 26th. Uh, Cordell got 23rd. Caden did. I mean, yeah, Caden did really good. He got 13th. Kyla got 19th, Andy Brooker got 24th, and Jed Waldner got 14th. So a pretty young and bright future for that team. That's good. Um, the uh, See, what were some of the things they had to do to um, get to, uh, to do this? Well, uh, they had to do a lot in land of texturing soils and finding slope and just a lot of stuff like that. Um, how are um, Tyus and Bailey doing? Like, where are they? Where are their scores? How are they doing? Tyus and Bailey were on the range team, and they did very good. They got fifth and ninth. Bailey actually got a perfect ID score, which he was the only one from our school to do that, which is very impressive. And Titus only missed one, so those are both very impressive. And then Ty ended up 14th, and Dawson ended up 15th. That's good for those kids. So. Um, the Farm Credit Services of America donated handbooks to the freshmen. Uh, how are those handbooks used? Uh, the freshmen can look at those handbooks and they can answer almost any question they need to know about FFA. They are very important and they're a good donation. Uh, what did the chapter have to do to receive these? Uh, they had to apply to get them from the, from the Farm Credit Services and then it was kind of luck then. All right. And... Um, I think that's it, so thank you, Wyatt, and back to you. Thank you, Peyton, for that interview. So that's all we have for you guys today, so thank you for tuning in to HGTV.
where we are awesome, not average.